Come on, champ! Come on, champ! You can do it, champ! Uh, You're looking great out there, killer! Hell me! Hell me! I've been jumping at all. You're gonna me. knock him dead, champ! Hell me! Adrian! Come on, Rock! You can do it, Rock! Hell me! I think the only way I can win this is by punching him in the nuts. Go! Yeah, yeah, punch him in the nuts. I know it's a little weird, but yeah, that's the only way I can win. I gotta punch him in the nut. Yeah, punch him in the nut. Uh, that, 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 that's, kind of a, that's kind of a weird strategy. I'm not gonna lie. But I can respect that. I, I don't know if that's what you what you want to do as a, a champion, but... I guess I'm... Punch him in the nuts, Rob! Punch him in the nuts! First of all, welcome to the channel. The name is Screw. Um, let's chop this fable down. So, yesterday, um, yesterday, uh, that whole MGK getting booed off stage um, during when he was opening up for Fall Out Boy during Rap God, that whole video came out. And the internet killed him. Lots of people killed him. Now, I said in my breakdown video, I don't know if it's true. Something about that video seemed doctored to me. Later on throughout the day, people were sending me the, re the real clip, what actually happened. And um, as I expected, it was nothing like uh, we expected. It wasn't, the booze weren't there, they're enhanced. But the picture, the picture was real. And what, I don't remember if I said it in a Mumfu episode. I don't know if I said it in a, uh, in a live stream. Or I don't know if I said it in a, in a, in a review. Um, but what I did say was I knew that even though those boos were fake in the beginning, even though... The, even though the, the boos were fake, even though that was doctored, even though that performance wasn't as bad as people made it out to be, one, two things that remain very true. Somebody told me that, now, even though he didn't get dissed, I mean, even though he didn't get booed live out there, somebody was telling me that, yeah, but he still, it was dead quiet when he was performing. And to me, I feel like that was that was a, a, a fact that a lot of people were leaving out and missing. Let me tell you something as a performer. The only thing worse than getting booed off stage is going in there and you can't make them make a sound at all. So I was telling people, yo, if y'all would, I mean, that's actually worse. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know why y'all trying to kill this man for something that didn't happen, but that's worse. But then what I said was the one thing that this is going to do is it's now going to galvanize since mgk is on tour right now that isn't his own tour he's opening up for fallout boy he in a bad position 
because he doesn't control the room as much as he usually does on his own shows. Now, I knew that when that video of MGK getting booed came out, what it was going to do was galvanize M fans, and not even just M fans, people who don't like MGK, to make the rest of his tour bad. I said this may be bad, and whatever, but he'll get over it. But the problem is, what this created is an atmosphere of people who are going to be coming to these shows trying to have a viral moment. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Let's talk about it. What is going to start is a movement. That's going to be the new thing to do at MGK shows. <laughs> and it's going to be bad. <laughs> That's going to be the new thing to do at MGK shows is going to be going at MGK and trying to have a viral moment. Now, as I said, that's not, that's not good for MGK. Because now we have a video that released, I played in the beginning of this video, where MGK is not only getting flipped off by a fan the entire performance, but he goes to try to confront that dude. Security starts pulling MGK back. My homie's a big dude. That looked like a Bam Bam Bigelow looking mother. The dude who hit him look, hey, who, huh, ha, 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 Listen, that was a big WWF before his WWE looking moth. That was a big Attitude Era looking moth. That was a pre PGWWE looking moth. That was a, a, a big Papa Pump looking moth. He wasn't swole, but that was a big old dude. So MGK goes up there, probably forgetting that people are crazy. And homie just does it. It seems like the dude in the crowd didn't know what to do. He just, I'm just so mad. I'm flipping him off. He ain't. Bop, got him one, one clean one. Bop. It, it wasn't nothing crazy. Don't let everybody exaggerate this. But he did sack him. He sacked him. Now I don't know how much respect you can get, honestly, um, for uh, sack punching somebody. That's that's kind of, I, I don't give you props for that, bro. That's kind of weak. Sack punch? A sack punch? But here's the thing that threw me off. And I'm, and I'm going to be very serious. Yo, MGK security, y'all tripping, bro. Y'all tripping. Y'all didn't do a dammy to homie afterwards. Y'all is tripping. Y'all got to know that MGK is going against a lot of people right now that do not like him. Y'all got to realize that in this Fall Out Boy tour, he's the person y'all going to have to look over the most. Even if you're Fall Out Boy security, Fall Out Boy ain't going to need the security that MGK going to need this tour because he picked it. Like, and that's what I was trying to tell people. Like, when People was like, oh yeah, he won because of these diss tracks. I don't think so, bro. I think the aftermath of this might be way worse than I thought. And because at first I was like, well, well, maybe that it's not really going to my bad. I'm typing something right now. I'm uploading uh, the video as we speak right now. Um, but I'm like, man, this is going to change the atmosphere of MGK shows. Not for the good. Not for the good. It's going to change the atmosphere of MGK shows badly. And I'm telling you right now, mark my words, every show from here on out or the majority of the shows are going to be like this. There's going to be somebody who's trying to get his moment. And it's not even, and here's the worst part, is it might not even be someone who's trying to get their moment. It might be someone who genuinely does not like MGK or even worse, someone who just genuinely rocks with M. Now, I really, as crazy as this see, sounds, I think Fall Out Boy and Eminem can have a lot of the same fans. I think they can. And I think, here's the thing, since MGK's on tour while he's be, he's feeling, he's feeling the full uh, uh, <laughs> blown effects of this. You know what I mean? He's feeling the, he's feeling the, uh, 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 Hold on, call me. He's feeling the full-blown effects of actually seeing the people after you diss somebody. Now, does this seem like somebody who won to you? You know what I mean? I'm trying to be 
on all my videos, people attack me because they want, for some reason, they want me to attack MGK, and they want me to act as if everything MGK does is horrible, and he can't do anything well. Like I said, the beat of what's it called? Rap Devil was dope. It was dope, but. When people were trying to tell me MGK won. The way I try to break it down is there's many levels of winning. Drake, Drake, what's that called? Completely, I mean like eradicated Meek Mill for a while. That on all fronts. When you are in hip hop battles, hip hop beefs, there's multiple fronts. There's the show, fr I mean there's the, the, the actual song. That's the first front. You got to win that. There's the crap, the internet, which is a new one, you know, that's one that people aren't really used to. There's the internet, right? And then there's the street. Now, the street has always been an element that everybody in hip-hop has had to deal with, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, it's always uh, an element that someone has had to deal with. So when I sit back and I think about it, I'll be like, he might, I don't think he even won the internet. I think he won the majority of the crowd on, okay, not the majority. This is what I was saying on the monthly. I think he won the the, the loud minority because the, the people who want M out of here, which is a loud minority because I don't believe it's a majority because I don't think M would sell what he sells if it was or M would be moving the units he moves if, it, if that was truly what people wanted, right? So... <laughs> The way I like to break it down is I saying, MGK, be careful out there, bro. Y'all fans, remember that this is this is something that y'all really don't got any. I mean, we we're here as spectators. I think it's corny to attack uh, 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 an artist because he's beefing with somebody you you like. I think that's mad corny. There's no reason to bring an element of violence to it, like. But I think MGK also has to be smart to realize who he's going against and what the implications of going against that person may be. So, tonight I'm going live and we're going to talk about the whole thing. We're going to talk about the whole thing. Put in the comment, I'm going live 8 p.m. Eastern and it's going down. Put in the comment section, do you think it's okay for that fan, what that fan did? Do you agree with him? I don't, and I don't think anybody should, honestly. I don't think that's a safe, a safe, or a smart, or, I just think that's mad corny. That's just mad corny, because it's like, fam, M don't know you. M ain't gonna give you no money. M is a human being, my G. And, and I understand that you, you might, you might uh, love him so much, but at, at a certain point, that stand thing gets real, and it starts getting sick, you know what I'm saying, where you got someone tied up in your trunk, and you doing 90 on the freeway, you know what I mean? And just drink a fit the vodka, damn it, a jive. But y'all put in the comment section, tune in tonight to the live at 8 p.m. It's going down, 8 p.m. Eastern, it's going.